I welcome our dignitaries to the auditorium. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to all of you. We have gathered here for the press release event of the exchange of MOU, which is prelude to the exhibition titled Silver Treasures from Denmark and India, which will be held at the National Museum in the spring next year of March 2023. May I request our dignitaries, His Excellency Mr. Freddie Swain, Danish Ambassador to India, Joint Secretary of Culture and our Director General, Ms. Lili Pandya, Mr. Rune Lundberg, Director, Museum Call in Denmark, to kindly come on the stage and grace the occasion. And I would request my audience to join in with a round of applause for our guests, please. A round of applause, please. Thank you. In the honor of our guests, we will now be presenting a bouquets. I request our Director General to welcome His Excellency Mr. Freddie Swain, Danish Ambassador of India, to present a bouquet of flowers to Sir, please. May I now request my colleague Vizay to come up on the stage and present bouquets to Madam, our Director General, please. And our very special guest who's come all the way from Denmark to be with us. Also, Madam, may I request you to present bouquet of flowers to uh, Mr. Roon, who's come all the way from Denmark to join us for this occasion. Now, um, we will be presenting small souvenir from the museum. We have chosen a laughing child as the gift so that the laughters and the connections continue between us. I request Dr. Nazia to present souvenir to ma'am so that we can give it to sir, uh, his, uh, his Excellency, Danish Ambassador. Yes, uh, now I request madam to please present souvenir to uh, Roon. Director, Museum Colin. And my colleague will now present souvenir to Madam. Round of applause, please, everybody. Thank you so much. Under the Culture Exchange Program 2022 to 2026, by and between India and Denmark today, we are celebrating the collaboration between two international museums, the National Museum New Delhi, India, and Museum Colin, Colin, Denmark. Though our borders and physical geographies distance us, our cultural alliance and cooperation unites us in a special bond. Having said that, may I request our guest of honor, His Excellency, Mr. Freddie Swain, Danish ambassador to India, to please come and deliver his special message. So please. Thank, thank you very much indeed. It's uh, really a great honor and pleasure for me to witness this important new milestone in our collaboration. 
uh, Gun Factory and Director General, Ms. Lily, and our good friend from Connie, uh, uh, Rune. Uh, welcome to all of you, and welcome to all of you who are uh, um, being part of this uh, uh, very important event of today. I'm always thrilled because I've never received a laughing call before. And uh, there are a lot of things to laugh about today in a positive sense, because now we are really entering into a new, new part of our bilateral relationship. Culture is definitely about bringing artisans, bringing art together. And silver is by all means perhaps one of the most important handicrafts of Denmark. So many silversmiths in Denmark have developed fantastic artworks over so many years. And when knowing what India has done, also in the same sector, same sphere, then it is really natural to have a collaboration with, in this silverware craft. The most outstanding museum in Denmark when it comes to silverware is, of course, Culling. And the collection that Culling has is remarkable. And to bring it to the friends of the Indian National Museum is, of course, very, very important. So I hope that this exhibition that has been announced in due time and with the MOU, which is in place, then the collaboration and the exhibition can only be a big success. Art is an expression of the culture that we belong to. And you will always be surprised, even though we are divided by thousands of miles and kilometers and different contexts and so forth, how similar arts people are working, how they generations after generations develop fantastic, in this context, silverware. So it's like the upcoming Olympics at some time, you can win, you can go for a gold medal, but the best we can offer, because that's something we all can relate to, is silver. And the exhibition next year will be an important milestone in what could come next year. So I'm not mentioning that Denmark is a kingdom and we are royal, but we are loyal to the MOU that is being signed, this uh, has been signed, and that will show that Denmark and India, we are for the royals, we are loyals, and the exhibition that we are seeing next year will be a fantastic milestone. So I would like to thank uh, Miss Lee, the National Museum, all the collaborators and supporters, but also would like to thank uh, Mr. Rune from Culling uh, Museum for coming here and gracing the opportunity uh, of the launch of this MOU. A small signature does not necessarily change the world, but when you look into what the MOU is about, then you will say, at least in the bilateral relationship with, between Denmark and lovely India, when it comes to the exhibition that we can look into next year, and I'm pretty sure you all will queue up at links outside when the exhibition is opening, and um, therefore it's not just a signature, it's a friendship that is emerging between Denmark and India in the field of culture. Culture is a driver, culture is a glue between tradition and the way in which we have decided to live. And may we bring light to humanity through the silverware exhibition next year. Thank you very much indeed. And don't forget to laugh. Thank you so much, Mr. Rune. Thank you so much for showing us the silver lighting, sir. Uh, very enlivening, very enlightening for all of us. But I think the applause did not do good justice to it. Can we please have a round of applause? Thank you so much. Now I invite our Director General National Museum to come up 
on the podium and tell us a little bit about the exhibition and what all collection is going to be there in the uh, in the exhibition that we host next year, ma'am. So, um, good afternoon and many greetings to you. His Excellency, Mr. Freddie Swain, Danish Ambassador to India, Mr. Runa Otto Green Lundberg, Director, Museum Cohen, Denmark, guests from the Danish Embassy, my colleagues from National Museum and the Ministry of Culture, Government of India, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome all of you to this very significant event. It is indeed a great moment for India and Denmark today, as we have gathered to mark the exchange of the Memorandum of Understanding between Museum Kohling, Denmark, and National Museum India, the two countries that believe in cultural fraternity have come together to showcase a specific, much nuanced aspect of their arts, culture and heritage in an international exhibition titled Silver Treasures from Denmark and India under the Cultural Exchange Program by and between Government of India and Government of Denmark through the Ministry of Culture and National Museum, India. The two institutions, Museum Kolin, Denmark, and National Museum India, by signing the Memorandum of Understanding, have embarked on a shared journey to curate and showcase their collection in form of an exhibition of the silver legacy. The exhibition, Silver Treasures from Denmark and India, will be hosted at the National Museum in March 2023 and will showcase around 200 plus objects that will reflect the techniques and aesthetics of handcrafted silver from both our countries. Although the collection of silver at the National Museum India is exquisite and dates back to the beginning of our Indian civilization itself, for this exhibition, we have selected masterpieces from our reserve collection from various departments to complement the Danish legacy. The, ex the exhibition will stage the grace of Danish designs and techniques and the spirit and form of Indian craftsmanship. In the show, the handcrafted Danish silver made from the studios of the designers and artists and workshops of silversmiths belonging to the 16 and 1700s onwards till early 1900s will be showcased along with Indian artifacts representing the vast variety of silver techniques from various regions of India. From masterpieces showcasing extraordinary aesthetics of mugs, tea coffee sets, other tableware artifacts from Denmark, to meticulous, uh, meticulously crafted jewellery objects, perfume cases, hookahs, and other utility items from India, the exhibition will showcase a diverse mix of objects curated under interesting themes. I convey my best wishes and I wish grand success to the curators, Connie Ramskov and Stein Lanbai from Museum Kolin and Komal Pandey from National Museum for this splendid exhibition. The collection, conservation, display and exhibition departments of the National Museum together will be putting up this unique exhibition and I'm sure it will delight, it will be a delight for the visitors who are for the first time going to see Danish and Indian silver exhibited together in India. Is it exhibited together in the world? Perhaps. Distinguished by our aesthetics, but united by our dedication to showcasing our heritage, the exhibition will be an ode to the artistic partnership that India and Denmark are venturing into. The exhibition indeed will be one of, one of its kind in the art space globally, and not only will it strengthen our cultural ties, but also herald our unique collaboration to the museums worldwide. Once again, 
I welcome and thank all the dignitaries, media, as well as my colleagues who are here today for this for witnessing this exchange of memoranda of understanding between our two great institutions. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. May I now request uh, Mr. Roon, Director, Museum Colin, who has joined us all the way from Denmark, to come on the podium and deliver his speech. So please. Thank you very much. I'm very, very thrilled to be here. Thank you, uh, Miss Lily and National Museum. Thank you, Freddy Sven, uh, the Ambassador of Denmark. Thank you to the Agency of Culture and Palaces for making all this uh, happen. Um, we are at, uh, at the state of a very big, uh, for us, um, um, experience of, uh, of joint venture because this is in the true sense a real cooperation making this joint silver exhibition between Colin and uh, the National Museum. There's nothing like culture that combines people and silver as, as it is, is one of these very old tradition which we can recognize ourselves in. Silver somehow is part of daily life and it's not just a material thing, it's a, developed in, uh, in masterpieces by Silver Smith. Smith. It also uh, is, uh, ha has a symbolic meaning. When I came to India for the first time in uh, March uh, uh, this year, I was overwhelmed by the culture of India uh, dating more than 5,000 years back. We say we are no country, but the, our kingdom is only thousand years old. Um, we came here to see all these opportunities for cooperation with the silver as a theme. Um, and I saw how silver was not only, well, a, a proud tradition, but also something used in everyday life, in jewelry, even in the sweets you've got silver. For the big weddings, uh, silver threads are woven into the cloth and in, in that sense, uh, silver has a, a, a profound impact. Um, in Denmark, Museum Colling has one of the finest silver ex uh, collections, um, and we are so proud that we now get the opportunity to work together with the National Museum here in New Delhi to show these exquisite uh, pieces of, of silver. They are uh, mostly uh, very, very fine masterpieces dating back from the 18th century to contemporary time. And we will bring some of the finest pieces uh, from, from our collection to, uh, to the National Museum in New Delhi. In Colin, um, there has been some connections early on in, uh, uh, connected with silver. As it is, uh, we are now looking into all kinds of connections combining our two countries. Um, and uh, in the research for this exhibition, um, we also saw that at a point back in 1960s, um, uh, Mararachi from, uh, uh, from Sikh, uh, the north, uh, northern part of uh, India, actually bought from a silversmith in Denmark, Colin, <laughs> um, a very uh, special um, silverware set. Uh, for eating a spoon, actually, 1,500 pieces. Uh, that's just to say that we have these connections and uh, also uh, pieces that are uh, part of everyday life, not only just masterpieces, but something that uh, means something to us. When we want to present ourselves, when we invite guests, we use silverware in, in, in different forms. We bring some of the, the very big corpus silver as well, um, which are um, not only in Denmark, almost a national um, heritage, um, but also something recognized worldwide. Um, for instance, we have a very, very fine vase by Binnesburg, 
which were uh, presented with a gold medal at the World Exhibition in 1925. All this happened in Colling, uh, and that's a, a, kind, a kind of special uh, to bring this also to India because uh, we have the traditions in common, the, um, the handicraft. When you look at the techniques of a silversmith, they're very alike, uh, and they go all the way back um, for hundreds and hundreds of years. But then at certain times, there will be some shifts and introductions of new elements in the techniques. And this happened in uh, Colling in the late 1890s, uh, where one of the finest uh, uh, silversmiths in, in Colling, uh, called Holger Fuster, um, joined uh, forces with Binnesburg and later on also Sven Hammersoy and a new kind of uh, shape and uh, design developed. Uh, we call this uh, modern uh, uh, design and that later on this was developed as what is now well known as uh, uh, Danish modern. But all this happened um, two, almost 200 years ago. So uh, we are very thrilled about uh, having the opportunity uh, to explore uh, into the similarities and differences between the techniques of silver uh, and the way we can learn from each other because there's nothing like culture combining us and we can uh, learn a lot. And I think one thing we have in common is a love for craftsmanship and for design. Um, and this exhibition would be a, 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 quick, a, sweet, a very, very fine example of the finest uh, pieces of uh, both our countries in, in this respect. So I look forward to the further cooperation. I look very much forward to the exhibition uh, in, in March and, uh, and what is to be developed further from this uh, cooperation between us. Because as we have learned also uh, um, going into this uh, agreement that we are not only just uh, partners in culture, but we are also growing friendships uh, uh, through borders uh, during this uh, cooperation. And we are very pleased about that as well. So thank you very much. And we hope to see a lot of you uh, through the exhibition uh, in March. Um, yes, and I am very thrilled to also hear your reaction about these differences because some of the pieces and our tradition and our cultures are very different, although we have a lot of similarities. So I'm very thrilled <laughs> how to, uh, how to uh, see that uh, coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, the most awaited moment has come. Uh, the MOUs are kept on the table, yes. Uh, may I request the dignitaries now on the dais to exchange the MOU before this Gustus gathering. A big round of applause, everybody, please. My Augustus gathering, please join us for this. Thank you. Now, as, uh, as the curator of this exhibition from the National Museum family, I am extremely honored that I have been asked to give the vote of thanks for today's event. 
First and foremost, I express our gratitude to His Excellency Mr. Freddy Swain, Danish Ambassador to India for gracing today's occasion. Thank you, sir. Your, pre your presence has been a blessing to us. I extend... Please. Thank you. I extend our gratitude to Joint Secretary, Ministry of Culture, and our Director General, Ms. Lili Pandey, who, under whose guidance, National Museum is undertaking this prestigious collaboration. Thank you, ma'am, for encouraging and supporting us. A very warm and special gratitude to Mr. Rune Lundberg, Director, Museum Colin, Denmark, for his cooperation and direction in conceiving this project. Constant gusto. Thank you so much, sir. My heartfelt thanks to the esteemed guests from the embassy who have come here to join us. Thank you so much for being here with us. Applauses, please. Also, my thanks to Mr. Martin from Agency of Culture and Palaces, my co-curators and staff from Museum Colin who are collaborating with us with equal and full zeal. A big round of applause for them too. And it's Extremely thankful to all my friends from electronic and print media for accepting our invitation today to cover this event. I hope, like always, this event will too amplify National Museum's place in the hearts of people and will give us large publicity. Earnest thanks to all of you who are supporting us today and we hope that we'll be able to attract large audiences at the time of the exhibition. And last but not the least, everyone from my National Museum family, all the officers and staff members of National Museum, we are uh, members of CPWD, Deputy Commandant CISF, and the staff unit of CISF that is placed in National Museum for giving us their support. May I now conclude today's event here by inviting all the dignitaries and everyone here to join us in the National Museum Rotunda so that our connections and dialogues can continue over a cup of tea. Please.